गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम बैक अगेन विद इंग्लिश वर्क ओपन योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर नोटबुक्स टूडे वील बी डूइंग एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन वर्टिकल डिसेंट राइट डाउन टूडे इज डेट फोर वन ट्वेंटी वन देन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर चैप्टर सेवन वर्टिकल डिसेंट लीव वन लाइन write down new words number 1 g e o l o g i s t geologist number 2 c r a t e r s craters number 3 u n c o i l e d uncoiled number 4 d e s c e n d descent number 5 d a n g e r o u s dangerous number 6 p r o v i s i o n s provisions number 7 n u m b num number 8 t h u double d i n g thudding number 9 p e r p e n d i c u l a r perpendicular number 10 g i G A N T I C gigantic. Then moving on to word meaning. On a new page, write down heading. One side word, other side meaning. Number one, B O double T O M L E double S bottomless. bottomless means very deep number 2 uncoiled uncoiled means straightened s t r a i g h t e n e d number 4 descend descend means climb down c l i m b number 3 strap strap here means tie number 5 provisions provisions means supplies p r o v i s i o n s and this is supplies s u p p l e l i e s number 6 perpendicular perpendicular means almost vertical okay then fill in the blanks on a new page write down heading fill in the blanks then leave one line number 1 professor p r o f e d b l e s o r professor leden brock l i d e n b r o c k was a famous geologist number 2 uncle dash a thick 400 feet long rope r o p e so uncoiled number 4 excel could see the dash shining in the sky so is ursa minor you are S A M I N O R. Number four, the rocks used to lie under water. Number five, Excel began to grow hopeful. H O P E F U L. Next. write 
T for true or F for false. Then leave one line. Number one. Lidenbrock said that they would be taking stairs. So this is false. Number two. Excel could not see the Ursa Minor. It's false. At last, he saw it in the sky. Number three. There was a passage, P A S S A G E, at the bottom, B O T T O M, of the perpendicular chimney, C H I M N E Y. So, yes, it's true. Professor divided the loads. It's L O A D S into three parts. Full stop. Yes, it's true. Number five. Hans was the guide. Yes, he was the guide with Uncle and Excel. So true. Who said these two? Whom? Number one. We will not take the stairs. Who said this? Uncle said to Excel. S T A I R S stairs. Number two. What about our loads? Excel said to Uncle. Number three. How will we climb down the chimney? So Excel said to Uncle. Number four. We have reached. Uncle said to Excel and Hens. Moving on to question answers. Number one. Write down heading. Answer the following questions. Then leave one line. Number one. Why was Excel so hopeful? So answer is Excel was very hopeful because his uncle told him that they would not be using the stairs to climb down into the crater. C-R-A-T-E-R. -E he was hopeful because, because his uncle said that they would be not using the stairs to climb down into the crater of the volcano. Number two, where had Axel and his uncle journeyed to? So they were doing the journey where Axel and his uncle had journeyed to a volcano with three craters in Iceland. Okay. So journey spelling is J O U R. N E Y E D Volcano V O L C A N O Iceland I C E L A N D Number 3 When did the journey finally end So the journey finally ended after 4 hours of climbing downwards when Axel noticed that the walls of the chimney had started sloping closer and growing darker, his uncle said that they had reached the bottom of the chimney. So the Journey ended after four hours of climbing downwards. When he noticed the walls of the chimney, they were started coming closer and growing darker. Then at that time, his uncle declared that they are, they have reached the bottom of the chimney. Few spellings here. Downwards. D-O-W-N. 
W A R D S downwards noticed N O T I C E D sloping S L O P I N G then reached R E A C H E D okay so complete the work given in the notebook and we'll meet next time bye bye have a nice day